Honestly, I preserve and can for purely selfish reasons. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to October. Somebody could explain to me where this year went. That'd be great. I'm pretty sure it's the same place that the, uh, the lost socks go. <laughs> if you saw our last video, you saw that we ripped out the garden and we have a ton of produce, like way more produce than I realized we had um, to deal with. So today's project is to do that. The struggle is I need to get all this done before we leave for Homesteaders of America conference on Thursday. Today's Saturday. I've got a bunch of stuff to do, but we will just plug away, do the next thing, and, and work on it. So the biggest thing today is the tomatoes because those are going to go bad the quickest. Um, I've got some washed. I think what I'm going to do is just get these chopped and measured and see how much I have, and that will kind of determine what I'm going to do with them. If I have enough, I will probably make a batch of salsa and get it canned up. If I don't have enough for even a decent batch, then I'll probably dry them and then we will uh, just get them dehydrated and I can turn them into powder or you know something like that and then I have the green tomatoes which I also need to deal with today those are going to become salsa verde uh, a green tomato salsa rather rather than a tomatillo salsa but just to get those used up because we had a bunch and then bell peppers are going to get chopped and frozen Green peppers, like bananas, and the nata pinos we had are probably going to get chopped and frozen as well. It's also a lot, so maybe I'll make a salsa or something, I don't know. And then the red peppers are going to get processed as dehydrated, and then we will powder those for seasoning. I might do the same with the green peppers, we'll see. I don't know if that would be tasty. I feel like it would be kind of better, but we'll see. So, lots to do. Let's get started. That was a lot of chopping tiny, tiny little tomatoes. <laughs> All right, so I actually got more out of this than I thought I did. I got almost 12 cups. So I think what I'm gonna do, I was thinking about this while I was shopping, is make a batch of sweet chili sauce. This is a recipe from my grandmother on my dad's side. Um, so my dad's mom. She used to make it when I guess he was a kid and he always loved it. So my mom made it when I was a kid. And so I kind of grew up on it. It was one of, is this like an 80s, 90s thing? My mom always served it on like Ritz crackers with cream cheese and then the chili sauce and maybe an olive. Did anybody else grow up like that? That's how I grew up. It was tasty. I really liked it. <laughs> so I'm going to get this started. I really don't have the time or energy or desire to peel tomatoes. So I usually just chop them and get them starting to cook. And then I run them through my food mill and get just like a saucy paste type thing. So I'm probably gonna do that here. Actually, no, I changed my mind. I'm gonna run this through the Vitamix and skins and all. It'll blend and get smooth. Um, it'll leave the, the seeds in it, but that's how the recipe is. You leave the seeds in it, so it should be fine. And then we'll go from there. And then I'll do green tomatoes. This recipe actually calls for Anaheim chilies, which I don't have right now. I have lots and lots of green banana peppers. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use those. Um, my mom always roasted them just to get the skin off and give a bit of flavor. And then we're gonna use one massively massive jalapeno pepper that I bought from the store to, uh, to get the heat. So we're gonna get those roasted and then you toss them in a bowl with a lid on them or some plastic wrap or something to steam them, to loosen the skin and then we'll get them chopped and into the sauce.
What you doing, sister? Are you playing with stuff out the drawer? Simmering, smelling amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. One of my favorite things. I don't really get it very often. All right, I'm gonna chop these green tomatoes. Let's see how many we have, and then that will determine what size recipe we're making. Five million tiny green cherry tomatoes later I have 36 cups of green tomatoes I am using the salsa verde recipe from the ball complete book of home preserving that's my usual go-to for preserving so um, that wound up being about five times the recipe a little bit more but it's mostly five times the recipe so the recipe calls for what are you doing Excuse you. So the recipe calls for skinned and cored tomatoes. I don't know if you ever tried to skin a green tomato. It's impossible and it will make you want to throw all of them out the window. So what I'm going to do, kind of similar to that, I'm not going to blend it though, but I put them all in a pot. I chop them fairly small so that they will heat through easily, release the juices, and then I'm going to run everything through the food mill. So that will get rid of the skins and the seeds as well because these are a lot of tiny, tiny tomatoes. Um, my chili sauce did turn out a little seedy because they were such tiny tomatoes, but I'm okay with that. It's not that big of a deal, and it's really tasty. So we're gonna get this on the stove, get it simmering, get them like loose and soft so I can run them through the food mill, and then I will add all the rest of the stuff to get it cooked and seasoned and all that. You ready? Okay. Alright, I wound up running this through the food mill four times because it was still kind of like juicy and it looked like there was some good stuff. So we ran it through a couple more times, I think. So usually with tomatoes, I run them through and then um, the skins and the seeds and stuff, I put them into the dehydrator. This is something I knew I'm doing this year and it's turned out really awesome. I put them into the dehydrator and dry them and then powder it and then I use that for like tomato, what you'd use tomato paste for and seasoning and stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna try it with the green and we'll see if it turns out tasty at all. If not, then oh well to go to the chickens. So here's my done 
pureed, milled tomatoes. And now I need to get the rest of the veggies, which will be jalapenos and onions and cilantro and spices and stuff. So we'll get that cooked up. My goal, it's already four o'clock, my goal is to get this canned by the end of the night. I got all the rest of it in. Lemon juice, spices, salt, all that. That's gonna come to a simmer and we'll let it simmer for a little bit. It doesn't have to thicken too much. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit because it's kind of messy in here. And then I'm gonna get the jars ready and the canner ready so that we can get it canned and hopefully be done in time to start dinner. <laughs> Jars are filled in the water bath canner. You want to explain to the people where you've been today? <laughs> We've been doing all the things today. Yeah, all the things outside. I, um, let's see, I mowed the lawn. I pressure washed the truck. The truck. And the trailer. And the trailer. And Old Blue, which is uh, the other truck. Mowed the lawn some more. Mowed, mowed more lawn. Uh, you don't need the maple syrup. I made a spoon carving knife <laughs> yeah the boys had never seen a spoon carving knife and so i yeah. made one and they, uh, they've made me a few spoons this is one of them this was one brett made me and i actually use it a lot it's a great spoon i used it today for doing tomatoes <laughs> so so ben was like all right let's make you a, a tool to carve out the centers they so, just kind of chisel it so I, they, I mean they've done that with chisels they've done yeah, pretty good job. and so i made an actual spoon carving knife i'll have to show you uh, I made it last night and then the handle's gluing today, yeah. so I did that. I've just been puttering yeah, all day. Yeah, stuff, getting stuff done outside, so it's a good day for me to get all this produce. Well, not all the produce, I still have a bunch of peppers. It ain't happening tonight. I'm done. <laughs> I'm finishing up this sauce and I'm going to bed. <laughs> Every time I've come in the house, like, you know, make some coffee or fill up my water or something like that. Uh, the energy level has dropped yes, farther I'm, and farther. I'm crashing, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna need some coffee here. It's all right, it, uh, it smells good in here. It does smell good in here. So, sauce is going. Um, I have to wait for that batch. And then there's still more green sauce. And then the chili sauce, I will reheat it to get it ready to go into jars and get that going. And then there are fries in the oven because I want french fries for dinner. <laughs> so, we're having french fries. I'll put stuff on them. It's not gonna be just french fries, but that we'll have french fries for dinner. So check back in a little bit. Buggy, you wanna show off that spoon? She took it from me and she, are you gonna show it? Yep, that's the spoon. Corbin's out here, he stole it from me now that it, the glue has dried. Okay, show off how that works. A lot easier than a chisel, huh? Yeah. Makes a way better finish. All right, so that's called a spoon knife. I've never seen a place to buy them. I've seen various people on like Instagram and places like that uh, use them. And I always thought, man, that'd be way better than trying to use a chisel or trying to sand that. And so I've wanted to make one, so I tried to make one and it turned out like it worked pretty good. So I'll probably be making four more of them because uh, they couldn't even wait for the glue to dry before they started using it. Nope, you, you don't need that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I, uh, it's always cool making something for the first time. Like I've never made a, uh, a spoon knife. 
I've made plenty of other knives, but not a spoon knife. And so it's, uh, it's pretty cool. All right, last batch is done. Pull it out in a minute. French fries, chicken cheese sauce. I'm done. I'm gonna eat dinner. <laughs> He's laughing at me. You look done. I'm so hot <laughs> and I'm so done. But it's so worth it because it's just, it's tasty food. I honestly, I preserve and can for purely selfish reasons because I just like to eat the stuff. I mean, who can argue with salsa verde? So uh, we have a little bit, I had about uh, a little of our pint left, so that will go with dinner tonight for the french fries. I'm going to call it a night. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys on the next one.